Okay, so let's jump into our second example here where you're looking at a Turbo B Series car, it's an Integra uh, that was running bottom 10s, 10.0, 10.1 uh, at, the, at the quarter mile and it was running about 150 miles an hour. So we're going to open up this Turbo B Series file for comparison's sake. And I'm going to go ahead and just open up my options and expand my table out here to 3 bar, although I think I tuned this and had a higher uh, scale out a little bit higher than that, that 3 bar, but for, for right now it doesn't really matter just to take a look at our data log. So I'm going to go into my graph and we're going to have this track tuning template open. I'm going to go stretch this open a little bit here so we can see it a little bit clearer. And then I am going to jump into my data log, load, I'm going to open up uh, this B-series track car. So the car went 10.0 at 151. Let's check this out. So jumping in here, the first thing we're going to notice um, is actually let's go ahead and uh, open this up a little bit further so it's a little bit more clear what we're looking at here. Um, we can see, uh, just quickly tracing through here, that uh, we see that we have our first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. So we can see that the gears are clearly defined, but we see this odd behavior right here. And if we look, um, we can see that the engine RPM is down here at 5,000. It jumps up to uh, roughly 8,800. 8, then it drops back down here to 7,400, and then it uh, jumps back up here to 9,400. And it's all happening in first gear. Now, typically if I saw something like this in the data log, if I saw an R RPM uh, drop and come back up, I would think that the driver was lifting his foot. So he was pedaling, it, pedaling the throttle in first gear to maybe try to gain traction. But looking at this, we can evaluate it and see that the throttle position here is at 100%. So what was happening here was the track wasn't good. There was a slick spot in the track. We hit that spot and it made the car go up into wheel spin. And if you look down here, we can evaluate looking at this as a cross reference to our engine RPM as it has this dip and then it comes back up here again. We can see we start off here at uh, three miles an hour and we start to accelerate. So our vehicle speed picks up, up to around this point right here, around 8,600. We can see then it sort of flattens out. It goes to maybe 43 miles an hour. Now we can see then it just carries. It doesn't really get any more ascending in its uh, reading here. It just kind of levels off here at 40, uh, 40, 43 miles an hour, 44 miles an hour drops about 40, then it slowly picks back up to 46. And that's occurring where this dip goes and it comes back up again. And that's because wheel spin was occurring here. So we accelerate it up to this point. It had some wheel spin. Our RPM actually dipped down and pulled the engine down. It started to spin here. It caught, it got traction, it made it bite down, and then it drove up again and accelerated. So this was some kind of a slick spot in the track. So if we see some kind of uh, behavior going on like this, uh, that's going to be something that we uh, 